Hello, this is Grant Allard here at Davidson College in Davidson, North Carolina, as our Furman Paladins prepare to take on the Davidson Wildcats in Alumni Stadium. Our Furman Paladins come into this game ranked number 15th in the country, as well as having boasting a record of 7-1 and 2. The two draws obviously coming in Southern Conference play. Our Furman Paladins occupy fourth place in the conference table on two points. Leading them are Davidson, Elon, and Wofford. Davidson, or Davidson and Elon are both tied on three points, so a win tonight could possibly push the Paladins into being tied, being at least second place or even tied for, third tied for second place, possibly at worst. So this is a big game for our Fer Furman Paladins. The team came up to Davidson today and met with Graham Seagraves as, and had a pre-game meal at his house. Obviously, the generosity of Seagraves as well as all the other alumni in the area has extended to alumni tailgate, of which you'll see some pictures of here in a minute. This is Grant Allard here in Davidson, North Carolina, here at our alumni tailgate with Alex Maslow and Scotty Hoke. Obviously, this is a lot of fun. Scotty, how do you put a tailgate like this together? It's easy, it's called email. You just flip a couple emails to people that want to hang out together and it's really simple to have everybody bring their own stuff and you know, we're just have, having a really good time and it's a good time, so it's pretty easy. Obviously, you were a goal scorer and the goal scorers have been the story in the first part of the season, but right now for Furman Soccer, the story is Sven Lisek, who is named Southern Conference Player of the Month. Alex, you are obviously one of our top keepers. I think you're second in shutouts per season. What does it mean to, to, for a keeper to be named or get an accolade such as that? It's huge. You always see the, uh, the awards go to forwards, goal scorers, uh, you know, playmaking midfielders, the, the stats positions, the goals and the assists. Yeah. Uh, rarely, do you the see, the seats. rarely do you see awards going to keepers. It's really an unrecognized position that – that really dominates, you know, a team and, and takes the team to the next level. But now it's in in all seriousness, it's it's pretty impressive for him to get a, a player of the month award in the SoCon, which has a, a lot of good talent top to bottom. So I think it's great for a keeper to get some recognition. The story going to this game obviously is Paladin scoring as well because the Paladins have scored three goals in four games after being able to be leading the country in goal scoring with 21 21 goals and it moved to 22 goals against Appalachian State. The Paladins lined up for a cracking game, and they certainly duly delivered. They had three chances on Davidson's goal in the first 10 minutes of the first half. But Lisek would have to come up with a big save to keep the game at 0-0 in the 12th minute, definitely showing why he was named SoCon's Player of the Month for September. Edith entered the fray in the 22nd minute and had an immediate impact for the Paladins, chasing down some long balls and creating chances on Davidson's goal. Edith's first goal, though, would come off a combination play with Martin Ontiveros in the 36th minute. Less than two minutes later, Edith would score another goal from a give and go at midfield with Evan DeKaiza. The brace pushed Edith to be Furman's leading goal scorer on six goals. Lisek would have to come up with another big save going into the half. The Paladins would leave for halftime, leading 2-0. to the zero. Half, the score, the Furman Paladins 2, Davidson Wildcats 0. The second half saw the game's momentum shift as the Paladins tried to possess more and had some great runs of possession. Davidson would later press the Paladins and win a few set pieces. On this set piece in the 80th minute, Lisek would come up and make a big save through traffic. Lisek and the defense were able to maintain our 2-0 lead and we would end the game winning and moving up to second place in the Southern Conference table. Fans 
That's the end of the game. Hello and welcome here to Davidson, North Carolina for full time of our Furman Paladins beating the Davidson Wildcats 2-0. We're here with Clint Ritter and man of the moment, double goal scorer with a brace, Bobby Edit. Bobby, what does it feel like to score another game or score in another game with multiple goals? Uh, it feels good. It feels good to be back on the score sheet. I haven't scored in a while, so it feels good. Obviously, uh, both goals came in, in the course of, I think it was a minute and a half. What's that um, rush of emotion feel like? Uh, it feels good. They score one and then another. It's, I'm just trying to help my team, and I did it today. Obviously, there are a lot of Furman Paladin fans in the stands going wild um, with all the alumni that, that were able to come out today. Um, we also have here with us Clint Ritter. Clint Ritter is one of our captains as well as midfielder. I think many of you guys were retweeting about his uh, being able to uh, both clear the ball defensively as well as almost get us uh, headers offensively and be able to score. Clint, what does it feel like as a captain to be able to grind out a win in a, in a game such as this? Well, it was, uh, it was ugly, but we got it done, and uh, that's all that matters. We got the three points on the road. Um, I think we moved up in the table. I think a couple spots, so uh, it was good. Yeah, and, and that is correct. Uh, Furman Paladins Day, we moved up to second place on five points, trailing right now only Wofford, and it will depend on the result of Wofford versus Elon uh, to see exactly what happened. We look forward to seeing you guys back as the Furman Paladins soccer team returns to action on Tuesday, October the 15th in Clemson, South Carolina, as we take on nationally ranked Clemson. This should be a great game. It's always the upstate derby, and it's always uh, one of the best fixtures of the year because uh, Furman-Clemson rivalry. Thank you very much for watching Furman Soccer DRT and Furman Soccer Today. We look forward to seeing you later. <laughs>